So guys, um, I know I missed my 6 o'clock video today, but I was out doing some other stuff. I was really busy today, and well, with this video, I just wanted to give you a bit more information about myself, really. Um, this will be like a... Th I think I've said it in one of my previous videos, that I was going to do like a whole series on my history and experience with gaming, and well, this is just the first part of it, and this is just going to be the part where I talk about my, not the full experience of gaming, but where gaming started for me anyway. Now as you can see I have a NES game up here, because the NES is the first system that, well it's not the first system that I played, but it was the first system that was in my home. Now, the first system I ever played was the Atari Commodore, so I can't remember any of the games I've played on that though, so, <laughs> but the first game system that was actually ever in the home that I lived in um, was the NES and I absolutely loved it. I think I've been playing video games for almost 30 years now. Yes, I'm old, but <laughs> well, I'm not old old, but I'm old enough to have started with the NES and those gaming moments are some of the best gaming moments I've ever had. Those games were exceedingly difficult. There's always this thing being uh, recently, anyway, has been renamed to be Nez Hard, and yeah, those games were incredibly difficult. But that was what was fun about them. Nowadays, people don't have the whole beat a game in three lives thing, and while it's a good progression. Those games that you played on the NES were just absolutely fantastic. It's where I started. And the game that I've played most on the NES, and actually went back and played it quite often, when even when I got the SNES, was The Legend of Zelda. And that is where my obsession with The Legend of Zelda series actually started. Now, while my game experiences have differed quite a lot, and I know I've played games probably more than most people have. Um, it's something that allowed me to get a bigger group of friends really because it's just something that can bring everybody together. I mean there is the outliers within the community that will bring up drama and all that but the majority of people are actually really really great and it's just a way to meet new friends and meet new people to play online with or even back then it, you could be just talking about a video game, even on the NES or the SNES, the Sega Master System, the Sega Mega Drive, or the Genesis, if that's what it was called where you live. And even if you were sitting talking about them while you were out just at school or something like that, people would come over and start talking about it as well. You'd get new friendships, new bonds just from talking about video games. And that was the best thing about being a gamer back then anyway. Sure there was the whole Sega versus Nintendo thing but it wasn't as bad as things are today with the outliers in the community. So with my gaming experience it all stemmed from first of all the Atari Commodore that I played every now and then while I was visiting family members but then the first system that I owned was the, the NES Oh, excuse me. Now, when we got the NES, it had already been out for a little while, and the SNES was coming out pretty soon. And I had the NES for about a year, year and a half before the actual SNES came out. We got the SNES straight away, and the games I played most in that were Donkey Kong, and obviously the game on screen just now, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, furthering my obsession with that game. Now, these are just games that absolutely were amazing. These are games I think everybody should play at least once. I love them. I'm pretty sure a lot of people love them. And even Super Metroid, they're another fantastic game. <laughs> but these are my gaming experience where I started my journey into video games. And even more recently, I've done video game development at university. That's just something that I had wanted to do since first picking up a video game. I've, I'd always wanted to learn how to make them and now that I do know how to make them 
I decided to do YouTube videos instead. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but my gaming experience, while I have been gaming a lot longer than most people, it's bordering on 30 years long that I have been a gamer. And yeah, I would not change a damn thing about the way that I have spent my pastime. It is just one of those things where either you did get it or you didn't get it back then. Uh, back then you would have been ridiculed for doing it, especially if you were uh, an adult. But now it's more socially acceptable, which is fantastic. Gaming is just one of those things that should be accessible to everyone. At least in my opinion, anyway. Now, my gaming experience, as long as it has been, will continue to just keep going and going and going. And I can't wait to see how the gaming industry actually advances within the next couple of years as well. Now, as I said, this will be a multi-part series, so I'm going to go over my history, first of all with Nintendo. Um, there's a long history there, so that will be quite a long video. Also with the NES, uh, not the NES, with the Sega, sorry. I'm going to be doing a video on my history with Sega. This, uh, even though I had the NES, I also had a Sega Master System, because I have a brother and he was always into the other side of gaming apart from Nintendo. Then I'll do... Uh, a video on Xbox and also PlayStation. Now, um, I've always had every system available to me when growing up. I've just because me and my brother always had different tastes. My brother is younger than me. Um, the only system I never really had was the original Xbox, but I played that at my friends quite a lot. So I'm going to be doing videos on these things. Um, they will be coming up soon. Hope you guys enjoy them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and got to learn a little bit more about me, uh, especially with how long I've been gaming and my experience through gaming and how I've cultivated my gaming skills throughout the years. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did enjoy it, please leave a like. And if you're looking forward to the next video, let me know. Let me know if you want to see the Nintendo, Sega, PlayStation or Xbox One first. Right now I'm thinking about doing the Nintendo One first, but if you want to see a different one, let me know. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a nice day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye now.